Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. So in the last episode, we of course started off the tribunal quest line in that we went to Mournhold to uh, kill every single Dark Brotherhood member after they started coming after Teldrin. Perhaps we got a little carried away, but Teldrin does as Teldrin do. We did receive the writ, so hopefully they'll leave us alone now, especially since there's no more in Morrowind. Not that that stopped the Dark Brotherhood before, but now it's actually our mission to find out who put this hit on us. Who wants Teldrin dead? So let's just go ahead and hop into it. I do believe we're supposed to kind of ask around, just kind of talk to the people. Morrowind crashed? That's unusual. Uh-oh. Is it gonna work this time? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Oh my god. Okay, so I just went through a whole, whole ordeal. Yeah, like I've already been recording for 20 minutes and I haven't done anything. So I know in the last episode it was really dark and as you can see here- actually, it's better. <gasps> okay, so, so long story short because I actually want to get into the game today, uh, I went into the Morrowind overhaul to see why it was so dark and to fix that and I found that it was already like nothing- nothing should have been making it that dark and so I just closed it without changing anything, but then whenever I launched Morrowind, it wouldn't launch, so I was like, what the hell? Uh, and I eventually, after tink tinkering around with it for a little bit, I got an error to pop up that mentioned an old horror mod that I had played a while back. So I disabled that and things are loading and also it's way brighter. Was that horror mod making my game darker? That is messed up, if so. At least, I don't know, we could actually see in here. We need to go into the caves before I can say for sure, but. Oh, that stressed me out. I thought I was about to lose my Morrowind series. Hmm. Yeah, it's like way brighter in here. No way. Well, good for us. We figured out the problem and our save didn't die. All right. How do I get out of here? Couldn't tell ya. I think we need to go up and around this way. Well, look at us being able to see in caves again. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, I don't feel like it had always been that way. I'm gonna have to relook at that mod. That makes me mad. Like I get it, yeah, horror, dark, but no thanks. Don't do it to my whole game. But I'm glad I at least fixed the issue because I thought that I hadn't even fixed it and I had messed everything up. And that's why I had been scared to launch the overhaul before. Because I figured every time I touch technology, like if I try to like upgrade my PC in any way or upgrade my recording quality, uh, it breaks. <laughs> I am cursed. Okay, so we need to go out through here, it looks like. Seems simple enough. Much more confusing when we are coming in here. Also, you know, let's wait until healed because we are a little hurt. Let Teldrin get 14 hours of sleep, you know. The usual that he always needs. I think it's usually 13, but close enough. <laughs> Took a little extra damage, you know. He was a little extra tired after wiping out the entire Dark Brotherhood. Who wouldn't be? Who are you? Mulsera? Were you down here before and I just couldn't see you? Why is a cat in the sewers? Okay, well she doesn't like me, so. That's fine. Goodbye, sewer cat. Can I take this? Does that count as stealing? I don't know. But I need more torches, so... Hopefully the sewer cat didn't need it. We are leaving. All right, so I do believe we're just kind of supposed to talk to some townspeople now. I think that's right. I know there's some optional quests that you don't have to do, but obviously I want to do them. We're exploring the tribunal quest line. So let's hear about your latest rumors. Okay, she's just telling me about... uh mercenaries that's not really what i wanted to know i don't think hey there sport what's the word sport whoa oh he gets on quite well with the women you know i could see it actually wait hold up hold up okay this guy's deranged <laughs> we have the same face almost the same hair just different hair colors <laughs> yeah i get you the women aren't safe when I'm on the town. Okay, now I don't want to talk to you. He just wants to talk to me about women too. Uh, I think we're good, actually. <laughs> I just want to hear about rumors. What a fella, what a fella. I would like to hear the latest rumors, actually. Okay, a very powerful wizard has taken up a residence nearby. I also don't think that's what we're we're caring about at the moment. Though we could do some side quests. We could. Get your scripts or rats. Finest quality. I will, okay. I remember this guy. I remembered you could get pet scripts and that was the thing that I was talking about where I was like, I need to do this. I couldn't remember where it was. <gasps> I am totally in the market for trained scribs. Rats, I enjoy a good rat every now and then, but a scrib. Give me a scrib, give me a scrib, give me a scrib. Oh, that's so cheap. I want a scrib. Give me a scrib. Yes, 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 yes. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Do it. 
do the thing? Oh, this one just really likes to yell. Oh my god! And we'll check this out. He follows. He follows us, but he gets stuck on everything. And we're gonna have to keep buying these scripts. Look at him walk! Oh, I'm gonna cry! Look, it's you guys, my loving scribs. I'm so clever and witty. Yeah, subscribe. Scrib. The best jokes are the ones you explain. So Teldrin actually does canonically own scripts for a while. And I like to think, even though they are quite large. In fact, I didn't know they were just that large. You know how there's like, sometimes like that big scary, like older guy and then he's like walking a little like fluffy chihuahua or something. That's the vibe I want Teldrin to have with these scribs. They're his little, like, purse dogs. <laughs> and that he loves so much. And we left our wife behind. But really, who needs her at this point? We got a scrim. No, I probably should summon her. Oh, I don't have that active anymore, do I? Now, is my teleport thing? Actually, no, I, I, I totally do. I don't know what was up with that. Does this count as a companion? Can I make him a companion? I don't think so. So we're probably gonna lose the scrim. But just know, he's there and he is being taken better care of than will be seen in the series. Drelena probably has him while Teldrin's out dealing with all this crap. Get your scribs, all I don't like that you're also quality. selling meat. I guess I can ask you about rumors. You've already done us this service today. Uh, you're telling me about a dart king. I don't think that's quite right either. Am I remembering this wrong? That should I look at a walkthrough? Maybe I should. Just Oh, Morrowind crashed looking at that guy. Yeah, something's still up apparently. That's not good. Not good indeed. We lost our scrib! Oh, why'd I have to break it? Why'd I have to mess with technology? Like, yeah, sure, I fixed the lighting issue, but at what cost? I just looked at my game and it broke. That's how it works. I gotta go get my scrib again, hold on. I know it's just gonna get stuck somewhere, but I just can't resist. Best feature of this DLC. This is why this one's That's the best one. Me. Get your scripts all It really is, it really quality. is. There we go. I think we can have multiple. I feel like we can, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna save again, because apparently going to look at that guy is gonna make my game crash. I don't know what I did wrong here. Oh, okay, well if I talk about the Dark Brotherhood, it does want me to speak with Fedra Slayer at the temple, but I'm pretty sure if you talk to him, it skips the rest of the quests. Or maybe you can just do them at any point. I don't know. I just trust in UESP and I want to do it in the order that it says to do it. So I'm going to look and see what it wants from us. Oh, the other guy that she's talking about? That's just who we need to talk to. Okay, we figured it out. It just didn't treat him like he was very special, even though he is a quest giver. So, Tenius Dilitician. That's definitely not how that's pronounced. Delician. I don't know. At the Royal Palace. All right, let's go there then. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's gonna make me so happy every time. Do you see him scramble? Oh God, where am I even going? Oh, whoa, the world map just shows you. <laughs> Vivek, that's weird. We actually haven't been around in the bazaar very much, so I'm pretty sure if we go over here, that's right. I'm gonna be saving every two seconds now. I'm all paranoid. Morwen doesn't usually behave like Skyrim. I know it's a Bethesda game, but really Morwen and Oblivion don't really crash for me very often, especially not Morwen, so that's just concerning. Okay, Thinius. You are not Thinius, right. Uh, where would he be at in here? Probably not the guards quarters, but I don't know. Seems to be the only place I can really go in through. Reception area, that's probably better. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> can I even ask about him? He wasn't like a dialogue option, so I don't think you can. I don't even remember if I did this in my original playthrough. Let's just waltz into the throne room. What could go wrong? Maybe he's in here, I don't know. Nope. No one is. Oh, no, yo. To you, I lied. He is right here. Hello. Do I need to ask you about official matters? That seems correct. Teldrin Ebenhart. Yes, I know your name. And I'm... Tinas Dilidian. I don't know. Captain of King Helseth's Royal Guards. I have influence with King Helseth. And King Helseth is known for rewarding his friends. I have an official matter you might be able to help me with. Sure. Uh, however... <laughs> I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't feel like they're gonna like that. Oh, I can't back out of it either. Oh no. I've been saving like crazy. I can reload. <laughs> I wanna show him. <laughs> I won't pretend I don't know about this. Of course, I'll deny it publicly, but don't take it personally. You appeared to present a threat to King Helseth. See, I knew that this was who it was, but I 
I, did it just say H at the end? Was that enough evidence for Teldrin? I don't know if that was actually fully revealed. I just knew it. Oops. <laughs> you appeared to present a threat to King Helseth. Perhaps mistakes were made, but you can prove they were mistakes if you can prove your loyalty to King Helseth. So are you interested in helping me with my problem? You know, if it'll get the guy to stop making writs about me, maybe I will help. There are rumors among the people about King Lethem's death. Rumors that Athen Lethem did not die a natural death. There's no truth to them, of course. Yeah, of course. Nothing shady happening in this court at all, as he has just proven to us. Speak to the people about King Lethem's death. You are not known to them as my representative, and they may be more candid with you. Let me know if you find the source of these rumors. Okay. Well, why can I ask about it? That's a silly question. I don't like silly questions. I'm probably making this guy hate me. I don't know what it was at before. I'll take care of it. Good. Report to me when you've learned about the rumors. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to the people then. How did I get up here? Oh god. Oh, I don't think I want to go into Helsa's chambers. I do want to read that note again. That writ, if you will. Yeah, in the name of H. I don't really feel like we were supposed to know that yet. <laughs> Maybe Teldrin's just trying to help out. This is not the right way, is it? Wasn't there stairs? Where'd the stairs go? Oh, they were right next to the door of <laughs> figures. Can you move? Actually, you know what? Latest rumors. That's not what I was supposed to even ask you about. King Lethen's death. He was an old man. He wasn't going to live forever. Forever. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be asking around in the palace, huh? Don't think that's gonna get us very far. We'll go to the bazaar or something. I already lost my scrib, by the way. Yeah, he got lost over here. At least he kind of stays where he got left behind. So he'll probably just hang out in the bazaar and follow us around here, which is fine. We don't want our scrib getting hurt or lost in a dungeon, which I'm pretty sure happened to some of my scribs. Whenever I first played through this. You, I like your potato sack dress. After she compliments me. Well, you are a quest person. Also, she wants to meet someone new. Do you, do you want to meet the guy that really likes women? Uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it was at all. They're just interested in the play. That is fair enough. We're going to avoid that other red guard guy, but we can talk to you. King is dead. Long live the king. Well, <laughs> snarky. I like it. Or maybe just meant the current king. I don't know. I'll take it as some snark. What more do you want me to say? Okay. I feel like maybe these people don't like me enough. But I don't know. We're gonna keep asking around for now. I think you're just a quest giver guy, yeah. It's never easy. Dang, I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> That's all me. Get your scribs all right. Scrib guy doesn't want to talk to me about it either. Too many of y'all are trying to give me quests. Don't want to talk about stuff. Well. They're not really talking to me about it, so let me just save. And honestly, I should probably put on the moon and star or something. I think that would help us. I'm still hitting all the wrong buttons. Put on the moon and star. And I think I took off my other good ring. Dang it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the other one we had on, at least one of them. Thank you. Let's see if that's any better. It went up three points. Awesome. We'll have to do this the hard way. We'll spend money. Oh, he really liked 100 gold. Oh my God, we are best friends now. You better tell me something. Yes. <laughs> he was old, but not that old. Maybe he just died, like they said. But maybe someone helped him along. There's a broadside sheet called The Common Tongue. And there it says Helseth poisoned hundreds of people when he was in the West. So why not here? Helseth does seem like quite the scoundrel, doesn't he? What else can you tell me about him? He's our new king, I suppose. I would like to know what happened to King Athen Lethen. Seems a bit odd that the old man died so soon after Helseth arrived in Mor Mornhold. And what about Talon Vandus, Lethen's nephew? Everyone assumed he would be next in line for the throne, until his accident, that is. Sounds pretty suspicious. He definitely likes Talon a good bit more, so. Is that enough? That is enough. All right, let's head back. Say hi to my little scrib on the way, yes, yes. Actually, I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him go. I didn't realize he was still catching up with me. Stairs seem to confuse him a little, but there we go. Oh, it's so cute. It's the best thing in the world. Let's see if I can remember how to get up there now. <laughs> Definitely was up. I think it was just uh, right here. Yup, so smart. Look at that. Navigating successfully. So, according to a broadside sheet called the Common Tongue, King Helseth poisoned many people in the West. So maybe he poisoned Athen Lethem. 
Very interesting. I'd like to see a copy of the common tongue, if you can bring in one. Thank you, you've done well. But now we lack sources of information in all Malexia's temple. Could you help me find a temple informant? Sure. We need a source of information inside Amalexia's temple. There are rumors of discontent in the temple. Go to Amalexia's temple. Make me say temple 50 million times. Look for someone discontented. Wow. Listen sympathetically and find out whether the temple is willing to help or willing to accept King Helseth or whether the temple plans to act against him. Well, is he a loyal supporter of the temple? He's a faithful member of both the temple and the Imperial cult. Well. All right, I'll take care of it. Doesn't sound like he's very loyal then, does it? That is the one thing about the tribunal. I do feel like it kind of has the dawn guard issue. I keep jumping I instead, stop. Sometimes it just doesn't feel like it like slides together as well. But you know, Morwen can kind of be like that anyway, but it's also one of those things like, oh, Teldrin's helping this guy. Sure. I know we can skip these though. Maybe he does in actuality. I was going to the Great Bazaar to see if I could find that book. I know we need to go to the temple, but I figure I'm gonna forget about the book if I don't do it now. <laughs> but it is also very dark, so we will wait. With our lovely little scrib. Oh, never gonna get over it. Oh. I swear I didn't know that was there. That was really funny. Is this going to be stealing? I don't think so, but I'll save just in case. It's literally just on the ground, so. I may have to write this down to read on the Tales channel because it is a little bit long. <laughs> oh, Mormond, you are looking especially beautiful today. The moons are kind of behaving a little strangely, but they're very pretty. That's just some nice morning lighting. We'll go ahead and bring this back once again before I forget. As we all know, I have the memory of a peanut. I just get a little carried away sometimes. So does he not actually want it? Was I supposed to turn it in at the same time? Oh no, there we go. I was just supposed to talk about that. Thank you for bringing me this copy of the common tongue. I believe this is indeed the source of the rumors. I see no source or evidence for its speculation, just vague falsehoods. Thank you, well done. I'll mention your loyal services and exceptional qualities to King Helseth. Great, Lord thanks. Just what I always wanted. But you know, I could also totally see Teldrin, uh, once again, will I ever stop doing that? I don't know. I could totally see Teldrin trying to get into this, uh, Imperial King just to uh, be a little bit petty about his treatment whenever he was in the Imperial Guard and whatnot and now his distrust of the Empire. I could see him scheming a little, I'm not gonna lie. So now we have to look for someone discontented. What about you, Granny? These are difficult times with much suffering. There are enemies all around. Yes, there's discontent, but our faith in Omalexia, mother of all, heals and sustains us. Right, do I need to bribe you too? I may just. Look, I'm rich anyways. So I guess this is why we need money. <laughs> she likes me now. She didn't even. Oh, it was a waste of gold. I know I can reload, but that seems cheap. You're the quest guy, so I don't think you're gonna really tell us anything. Hey, okay, why are these tunnels so long? This place had no business being that long. What even was this? Just a hallway? Oh, it branches off over here. Hey, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to about this. I'm gonna bribe another person, but I probably shouldn't. Nope. Dang it, I'm just wasting my money. God, this place is massive. Whew. They don't make them like they used to. The basement? There's a basement? Oh. This just doesn't seem necessary. Also, that's sketchy. This place is just a bunch of tunnels. Oh my god. You. Oh, you have the same last name as our wife. Oh, okay, it actually was her. Cool. I am a faithful believer, but Amalexia makes me uneasy. For the last 50 years, the tribunal stopped walking among us. Stopped listening and speaking with us. This worried me and made me sad. Were our gods abandoning us? Were they growing weak? But since, Amalexia has lately come among us again. I feel more worry, not less. Her face grows brightly with hope and power, but her words seem dark and bitter. Oh. Okay, we will listen patiently and sympathetically, like it said. Amalexia's hom- homilies? Homily. Hamily. Sure. Full of compassion, understanding, wisdom, and acceptance. But now her sermons seem more intent on destroying the wicked, punishing the foolish, and rewarding the faithful. The unquestioning, obedient faithful. Yes, these are difficult times, and in difficult times to survive, we must be hard. I tremble for the failing of my faith, but the god I once loved now frightens me. Ooh. Well, let's ask about the temple in King Helseth, yeah. Oh no, oh, oh no, she didn't like that. What? Why do you ask me this? This is a mistake, you're a stranger and one does not share doubts with strangers. I don't wanna talk about this with you. <gasps> Did I mess that up? 
Uh oh. I, I, I listen. Okay, can we come speak another time? Yes, you may come again another time. She forgot. I, I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay, I guess I was just supposed to talk to her again later and then, yeah. Glad it didn't lock us out of that, huh. Helseth has murdered King Lethen and stolen our crown. It does not matter that King Lethen was a fool. He was our fool. <laughs> That's the spirit. So long as the puppet king was a joke, we could all laugh and ignore him. Helseth is not a fool and no one is laughing, or, and no one is laughing. If Helseth seeks in earnest to be king, then Almalexia and the temple are sworn in earnest to destroy him. Whew. Well, I think that's good enough, right? We'll head back if I can find my way out of here and see. Oh, okay, that's where Almalexia is. They don't want me in there, apparently. Oops. Reception area. Oh my god, it was simple. We just took the wrong door. No! It's messed up. That is messed up. All right, we have your information. Gulsa Andrano speaks her mind, and from what you say, sounds sincere. You handled her well. The temple seems to recognize that King Helseth will not be content to be a puppet like King Lethen, and plans to act against us. Very good work, Teldrin. The king will hear of your loyal service. Now you can help us with another ma matter. Blah. King Helseth is concerned about possible disloyalty among the guards. There is no reason to fear disloyalty, my good guy that I don't want to pronounce your name. <laughs> Teldrin would certainly never scheme, both with the Empire and with Almalexia. I've replaced many of the former King's guards with more reliable men, but I had to keep some experienced guards, and I can't be certain of their loyalties. I will pretend you wish to join the Royal Guards. That's your excuse for talking to the guards, sounding them out, and looking for evidence of disloyalty. If you find any hint of treason or evidence of disloyalty, report it to me. Take no action. Report to me and I will judge what action is appropriate. Okay. Uh, specific guards? I'm not certain about any of- yeah, okay. Evo, Ortholoth, Ivalun, Arano, and Alary Aaron. None of them are particularly clever, not stupid enough to admit treason, but perhaps they're clever- or not clever enough to hide evidence of it. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of those names because I'm gonna forget. Evo, Evelyn, and Aleri. Okay, I'll take care of it. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, Shirley. Oh, actually, they would be in the room. Well, <laughs> hopefully you didn't hear that. What did the guy with the name send you to me for? If he wants you to be a royal guard, then you'll be a royal guard. Nothing to do with me. How do I like it? You think I was born yesterday? My mom didn't teach me to blabber to strangers. So old King Lethen was a bit of a fool. But he, he was good to me, and King Helseth is no fool. He's got to keep some experienced men like me around. All these new fellows like you. Someone's got to teach them their business, because they don't know it well. Ooh, we got a choice here. Ooh, I'll ask about King Lethen. You hear folks say old King Lethen was a fool. Well, folks should keep their mouth shut. Maybe he was a fool, but lots of fool folk are fools. Maybe he had no business being a king, and that's what he was. So folks should show some respect to the old fellow. Well... <laughs> I feel like there's still some options here. It is my honor to serve King Helseth and Queen Berenzia. That's right. Just what I said. An honor. Okay. When I asked Evelyn Arano about King Helseth, he delivered what sounded like a memorized and not very sincere sounding speech. Maybe he's just not very bright, but maybe he's just not a very good liar. I don't know if that's enough evidence. <laughs> so Evelyn delivered a memorized, not very sincere sounding speech about King Helseth. Well, he's not very bright. It's not necessarily evidence of disloyalty, but follow up on it, there may be more. Right, yeah, that's fair. I guess I'll mention my Hlalu connections, which I do not have. That is offensive to me. Oh, really? Does Tinius Deltian know about that? Did you talk to Alary Aaron? You should tell her that you're House Hlalu. Really, but don't tell him. Just tell Alary. Oh, okay, that, that sounds like a lead. You're the other guy, but apparently I need to talk to her. I don't guess she's in here. Where is she at? Everyone else was, apparently, but not her. Maybe in the guards' quarters, that would check out. Justice never I wish I could ask, I just don't know. Okay, I wanna know, do you pronounce it Queen Berenzia or Berenzia? Because my head told me Berenzia whenever I read it, but I feel like most people say Berenzia, so I've been trying to say Berenzia. Oh, she's here. <laughs> but I am curious. Baron Zaya does seem like a lot of work to say, but it's fun to say. I've been a royal guard all my life, and so has my mother and her mother. Oh my god, my eyes are burning. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna cry over Morrowind. I served King Lethen for many years, and now I'll sing King Helseth. Long live the king and long live the emperor. It's none of my business, of course, but why do you want to be a guard? You look like you've done well enough for yourself as an adventurer. Ah, uh, Hlalu stuff. He what? Ivalun Arano told you to tell me about your Hlalu connections? And told you not to tell Tinius Del- Del- Oh my god. 
I have no idea what that's all about. Are you sure you heard him right? He's not the brightest star in the sky. He gets confused sometimes. I wouldn't worry about it. I'll talk to him later when I get a chance. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Right. Well, I guess I could talk to you about other stuff. She doesn't really want to talk about it very much. Yup. Okay. Yep, I suspect Evelyn Arano said something to me that he shouldn't have and Ilaria was covering up for him. Scandalous. Okay, I'm just gonna go out through here because it's easier. <laughs> I know my way this way. I guess we can go and talk to you about it. Even though that guy's right there and is definitely watching. No, nope, guess not enough. Oh no, never mind. He's telling me to do something different. So you spoke to Larry Aaron about your Hlalu connections, as Evelyn Arano suggested, and Larry Aaron acted like she didn't know what she was or what he was talking about. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps Larry Aaron was covering up for him. See if you can find something more tangible. Something in writing, perhaps. Seems to be the weak link. Take a careful look at his possessions in the guard quarters, but be careful, don't get caught, or you'll be attacked like a common thief. That is fair. I gotta find my way back over there. It actually wasn't that hard, okay. Oh, good, the chests are actually named. This is unfortunate though, because Teldrin's not very... Oh, there's actually something right there. I'm sneaking, I'm totally sneaking. Handwritten note. Thank you for specifying. A curious copy of guard duty rosters for the past several weeks. The handwriting is tiny and almost illegible, with frequent misspellings, but three names are always correctly spelled. Milvella Draylin, Evelyn Aranu, and Alary Aaron. And those watches when all three are the only guards in the throne room have been underlined twice. Interesting. Is that enough or do I... Yeah, you didn't see shit. Guess what I thought? I feel like that's enough. Yeah, okay. We don't need to actually break into his chest. I also like how they were like just witnessing me just... Stealth mode, whoo. Justice never sleeps. No, sir. Right, that should be good enough. This is Evelyn's handwriting on the note you found. He notes the watches when Draylin, Aaron, and Arano are the only guards in the throne room. I believe I'll change the watch schedules to prevent that. And I'll need to keep a close eye on all three. Very shrewd work, Teldrin. You've brought me clear evidence of disloyalty among the guards. Now I need your help finding evidence of conspiracy against King Halseth among the Hlalu nobles. Right. The old king's Hlalu supporters haven't accepted King Halseth's ascension to the throne with good grace. Maybe they think that another candidate, a Hlalu, con a Hlalu candidate, typical Hlalu scheming, for example, would be better. Maybe they have some plan to express such a preference. If so, I doubt they would be candid about it. But maybe you should search Lethen Manor for documents, diaries, or other tangible evidence of such plans. What about their defenses? This is a matter for you to study. Great. Only the widow of the dead king, Ravani Lethen, lives at the Lethen Manor now. There might be guards. Perhaps you should go offer your condolences to the widow and have a look around. Yeah, I'll do that. That's a good idea. We will do that. However, I have been recording for a good bit now, so I do think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. A huge thank you to my current Patreon Oathman, Mac and Amanda. Your support means a lot to me. Helps keep the channel going. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so by supporting my coffee, Patreon, or Throne, or becoming a YouTube member. Oh, we've been graced by a dude at the end of the episode. Wow, hello, dude. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.